Hello everyone! We're officially in March now, finally. So it is officially Women's History Month, even though this will be our third video on the topic, or on the theme. <laughs> uh, so today, I decided to go a little different route than the route I've taken in the last couple days. Um, so again, the theme is Women of the Faiths for these first couple weeks, or first few weeks. And for the last two days, I've been doing um, a books related to uh, Black history, African history as well, because it was uh, Black History Month. But now we're going to go a different route, and I found, well, this one. I've loved this book for a long time. I've read it many times. Just read it again for this special event. Um, this is, of course... Jezebel, the untold story of the Bible's harlot queen by Leslie Hazelton. Oh my god, I love this book so much. <laughs> All right, so let me get into my analysis of this one. Where is it? There it is. Okay. So, oh, and before I get started, um, if you're watching this on YouTube or on Patreon, you'll find a breakdown of this whole analysis and explanation of the point system uh, down below, as well as an explanation of the different categories um, for them. Uh, apprentice, journeyman, journey maid, apprentice, journey, no, sorry, apprentice, then Sorry, first novice, then apprentice, then journeyman, journey maid, and then master. Okay, I knew I, I knew journeyman, journey maid came after apprentice, but I forgot novice. My bad. <laughs> so you'll find a breakdown of all of that down below, whether you're on Patreon or on YouTube. Okay, so to start with, we have ease of understanding. I gave it one point. That it, um, it's very easy to follow. Um, the author's style reads more like a narrative than a uh, historical argument. But, you know, I think it stays true to the original story with, the, you know, but takes the opposite point of view and looks at it from Jezebel's perspective and still nonfiction. So it's not going to be like a novel, but it's cl close to a novel. Um, it feels like a novel, even though it's history. Not fiction history, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, prior knowledge requirement, I gave it two points. Um, I think uh, familiarity with the Bible would help um, understand this book, but it's not required. Um, some, like the introduction, it uh, feels like it belongs in a novel to draw the reader in. Um, and then the nonfiction narrative immediately follows. I just want to say that as like a warning. It's like, don't think the introduction is uh, exactly historical, but once you finish the introduction, you get into the nonfiction narrative, then, you know, it's, like I said, nonfiction and it's factual, based closely on fact. <laughs> Not based closely on fact, factual, but they wrote it like it was a story rather than. A historical argument. So two points for prior knowledge requirement. Uh, foreign language. So I gave it one point. I didn't. There were maybe a couple examples of foreign language I saw, but they didn't really stand out, and they didn't really bother me or disrupt the flow of the reading. And blend of truth and storytelling. One point. As I said previously, the book reads as close to a novel as possible while being nonfiction. So that gives a total of five points, which makes this book a novice level read. So again, you can find all the explanation for how I did this analysis, as well as the novice level and the other level readers ship down below, either on YouTube or on Patreon. And thanks so much for watching me. And if you're watching this on YouTube, consider following me on Patreon. And if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you very much for supporting me. And I'm already looking forward to the next video, so I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>